Good morning, everybody. You gonna tell them good morning? So I'm sitting with Annabelle having some coffee this morning. Unfortunately, Annabelle's in heat and she's been locked up since yesterday, but I've been coming and keeping her company and watching. Yeah, I've been watching YouTube with her. She seems to enjoy it when she hears stuff on my phone. But she's got a little radio too, don't you? There's her little radio. We turn it on low for her. I had to put her up. She kept trying to get over the fence and stuff. And, you know, I'm afraid she'll make it out to the main road. She may get hit. So her heat cycle, it says it can last 12 to 36 hours. Annabelle usually stays in about, about three days. Right? This is day two. We're hoping and praying by in the morning that she'll be back to normal. I was hoping this morning she'd be back to normal, but as soon as I came over here and heard how talkative she was, I knew she was still in her heat cycle. And when she's in heat, it just makes her so manic. She cannot stop. Um, she has messed up her door. As you can see, she's knocked it loose from the screws, so I'm going to have to get the hubby over here with the drill. This uh, spring, we're going to try to build her a better shed, a more sturdier one. And I may actually have Annabelle fixed. You can get goats spayed. Um, I mean, I would like her to have a baby maybe one day. But then again, I'm afraid, you know, what if something wants to go wrong? She died giving birth because she is a little goat. Right, baby? She is so mad she's put up because it is a really pretty day. It's actually like a spring day. It's like 67 degrees out here. Oh, no. I feel so bad she's in her little jail cell. Bless her heart. I had to reinforce the door. I mean, this goat means business. She turns into a totally different goat when she goes into her heat cycle. When she's not in heat, she never tries to get out of the fence. Never ever, do ya? Look at her, how pitiful. Bless her heart. While I'm over here, I'm going to try to show you guys the Cozy Coop heater. That our special friend sent us a while back. We finally got it installed. Right? You gonna show them your big red ball? Now, I did let Annabelle out this morning for a little bit. When I come over here about 7.30. It's about 9.30 now. Um, I did let her out. And she kept trying to get over the fence. So, I had to put her up before I left. But I did let her stretch her legs. And probably what I'll do today is just get her out on the leash. And, um let her walk around we're gonna have to redo this fence so she can't get over it let's see if we can get the chickens in the trampoline run I'll show them the cozy coop heater if not I'll just show you guys how I got it plugged up and I'll show you um, the box at the end of the video it's a really cool little heater it actually looks like a little flat screen TV or a little solar panel it's pretty cool Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, my elbow is out of place. I have no idea why. I can't raise my arm to put my hair up, wash my hair. I can't bend my arm. I have to hold it uh, in a certain place. I don't know why it's come out of place. It's, this arm has never been broke, uh, and it's my right arm. I'm right-handed, so it really sucks. Now, I've broke my left arm like five different times. So I don't know what's going on. I think actually I've got some arthritis, some really bad arthritis, some joint stuff going on. But my elbow is out of place. And so I'm probably going to have to go to the doctor because it is quite painful. Right, Annie? <laughs> yeah, I know. She's so mad. She's madder than a wet hen. So, there is the Cozy Coop heater. It actually needs to be lowered down a little bit. Oh, and I see they have all kinds of eggs over there. We may need to grab those real quick. So, there's a better look at the Cozy Coop heater. Like I said, it does need to be lowered down just a little bit. We had to drill a hole in the back of the coop so we could run the cord out. We got an extension cord hooked up. 
and there's how I turn it um, off and on. It's got high and low setting. This is energy efficient, so it doesn't use that much electricity. Thank goodness. Now let's open the coop door back up for the chickens, and we will count the eggs. And those hens stood at that door and Sunny the whole time I was gathering eggs. Sonny is not a happy camper. He is trying to get me any way that he can. Hey, rooster, calm down. I feed you. I give you shelter. The least you can do is give me a few eggs. Watch the hens. They're going to go in there and check their eggs. People say that chickens don't care if you take their eggs, but they actually do. I mean, I don't think that they grieve, but they do uh, protect their eggs because that's their offspring. Because I walked away for a minute. Now Annabelle's in an uproar. We're going to count eggs, Annabelle. Don't you want to help us count? So they laid 19 eggs total. Look at the speckled egg. It's got little specks on it. It's pretty cool. So that's pretty good laying for this time of year. 19 eggs. It's been a few days since I gathered eggs. So that's pretty good. Right, Annabelle? Get my finger out in front of the camera. I'm so bad to do that. <laughs> well, guys, have a wonderful day. Me and Annabelle's going to get back to watching YouTube and drinking our coffee. Right, Annie? And hopefully by tomorrow, she's back to normal.